Hey guys, HTV here, and welcome back to a brand new video going over Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, got another brand new rumor to go over. This came out on the 11th, so nine days ago, uh, but it does talk about an extra expansion pack, some more trailers that we're going to see. Um, of course, it's just a rumor. Take it with a grain of salt. No idea if it's true or false or not, but they're always fun to go over. I haven't done a rumor in a while as well, so uh, yeah, let's take a look at it today. If you're excited for the video, drop a like down below. Make sure to leave a comment as well. Do you think this is true, and do you think we are going to get a third and fourth expansion pack, or do you just think we're going to have the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra? Make sure to subscribe, though, if you're brand new. We do daily Pokemon content on this here channel. With all of that out of the way, let's get into the video, and I really hope that you enjoy. So, starting things off, like I say, this came out on the 11th, um, on, on the Saturday, so a couple of Saturdays ago. Uh, it basically says, uh, the Pokemon Sword and Shield Part 3 and 4 Expansion Pass Info Part 1. Um, so, I, I don't know if this is going to be like the logo of the Expansion Pass, or if this is just like a Google image or something like that, but it kind of looks like something that would be... Um, in s some sort of logo for an expansion pass. Obviously, it does have the Dynamax symbol at the bottom. It has some Pokeballs on the horn, so I don't know if that's just something in the game. It probably is, uh, but yeah, it's just just interesting. But anyway, I have real rumors about Pokemon, well, about Part Three and Four Sword and Shield expansion pass, and we'll share some info about the ones announced. I was told by a credible source. If there is anything you think I have missed, it's simply because I don't know, and I'm only telling you what my source told me. Uh, you may have noticed during the Pokemon Direct when they began to show the DLC content, the Galar map moved to the right to suggest its location. This is because the Isle of Armor is based on the Isle of Man, which we already know. Uh, the Crown Tundra is located... Wait, did Pokemon tweet out? Because obviously Pokemon tweeted out not too long ago saying that the Isle of Armor was based on, like, the Isle of Man and the Crown Tundra was based on Scotland. So, I don't know if this was before that. I don't... Th I think this was before that tweet. Um... Of northern, uh, what does he say? No, yeah, northern Scotland. So it says the Crown Tundra is located south of Galar, representing Ben Nevis of northern um, Scotland. So I don't know if this came out before or after that tweet. Uh, who knows? Either way, I, they, they got that right. So I, I, again, it might have been after the tweet, but I don't know. Uh, now for the interesting part. The two additional parts to the expansion pass will feature the west of Galar and the north of Galar. It would make sense, to be fair, to have like four different kind of parts. Like you can't just have like like two sides of Galar, it makes sense to have all four but then it goes on to say there was there was going to be part five but my source said it would have clashed with the diamond and pearl remakes for late 2021 so it can be released on its uh, anniversary uh, director shigeru omori is now working on these titles uh which we do know we do know that obviously the team that made ultra sun and ultra moon i think they're working on the dlc and then the team that made sword and shield are now working on whatever the next games are going to be most likely diamond and pearl remakes then it says the summary of the two other parts to the expansion pass will uh will is which is explained below along with some new details for the isle of armor and the crown tundra which was not shown during the direct uh so it says the isle of armor and the crown tundra i do have the second image do not worry uh there's a lot to read so um yeah we'll see what the first part says anyway so i mean well, straight off the bat the, the first half of that rumor i mean there's nothing that really would make me not believe it again i don't know when Pokemon tweeted out saying where Scotland, uh, like the, the Crown Tundra was based on Scotland and uh, Alabama was based on the Alaman. I don't know if this rumor came out before or after that. Um, if it came out before, then hey, you smashed it with that prediction. Then it says, the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra. Spelled wrong, brilliant. Uh, completely new Pokemon native to these areas. One of them is part of Slow King's head. These will be shown in future trailers to keep us going. So we don't know how many new Pokemon are going to be in the DLC. We've seen a few Galarian forms and, of course, the new Legendaries. Um, but there could easily be like a new Evolution or more Pokemon or, or whatever. Because obviously Slow King's head is a lot different. Um, so it could be like a separate Pokemon. A lot of people think it's going to be Marini. A few people think that a Galarian Dustox is going to be in the game. So we'll have to wait and see. Uh, it says more Galarian forms, including Arbok, which you Dustox based on a Pepinmoth and Ursa Ring. Uh, returning Pokemon such as Psyduck Line, Staryu Line, Weedle Line, Most Kanto Pokemon, uh, the Sfuel Line, the Crabrawler Line, and the Johto Starters. I mean, it makes sense to bring in some more Kanto Pokemon because they've already got those kind of... Um, models from pokemon let's go pikachu and let's go eevee so they can easily just transfer those across and i don't think it'd take long to kind of implement them into the pokemon sword and shield games um but obviously it's different with all the other models because they have to make them from scratch uh, there is a new eevee evolution that can only evolve in a special way similar to the galarian slowpoke i was not told the type but also wondered why they would leave it till now probably just to sell the dlc to be fair um like if there's a new evolution it's going to make people want to buy them um of course, you don't have to buy the DLC. Someone that does have the DLC could get the evolution and then give it you. But 
Again, I'm guessing Eevee can only evolve in that DLC or something like that. A few people think that we're going to get two new evolutions. One for the Isle of Armor that's going to be a Steel type. Makes sense because Armor, Steel. And then the Crown Tundra, people think we're going to get like a Dragon type or something. Or something similar to that. Um, who knows? But that's just what people think. But I think it'd be really cool to have two new evolutions or at least one. Uh, maybe that's why there wasn't one in this main game. Because there still should have been an evolution in Gen 8 according to the pattern. Of course, they could have just stopped it completely, but... Hey, no, you never know. You know, we gotta wait, see what happens. Anyway, part two. It says, uh, obviously, there will be more characters, including electric and ground type trainers exclusives, but in particular, the rivals will have an interesting part of the story, not just for part one of the expansion pack, but for future parts. Kubfu evolves based on the series of challenges that Mustard gives you the decisions to make. So if you didn't know, basically Kubfu evolves into either of the uh, forms with the choices that you make through the... Um, through the DLC, which is a really cool evolution method in my opinion. I think that's really, really cool. Then it says part three based on Ireland, which has also been flipped around, released early 2021. Um, again, there are two, t there, there is separate teams working on these DLCs and then there's a separate team working on um, the next game. So this is definitely doable. Like next year, if there was a third DLC, and then there's Diamond and Pearl remakes next year. I doubt that we're going to get any other Pokemon game this year. We're already getting Mystery Dungeon and two, TL, uh, two DLC packs. But next year, we could get an early DLC pack in like maybe March. And then obviously the Diamond and Pearl remakes in November. Who knows? It'd be really cool, but we're getting a lot of Pokemon content. So you can't really complain. And it says Mega Evolutions will return for this pack, but was not told if any were new from my source. What was hinted that the mechanic will be different to previous games. Uh, new legendaries, Galarian forms, Gigantamax forms, native Pokemon, 100 plus returning Pokemon including Hoenn starters, Salamence, Heracross, and Sizzle. So wait, this is in, this is in part 3, okay. Uh, story continues with the main story to find out more about the history of the Galar region, because we don't really know anything about the Darkest Day, let's be honest, like we have no idea about it. And then part 4 is the Urban Area, extension of Winden, released mid-2021, Focus being the greatest competition. The rumored urban area is uh, true and is part of the extension to Winden. This is the last part of the extension pass because Game Freak thought it would make sense to have this uh, once and once all the Pokemon are accessible in the game. The urban area is full of battle facilities and runs seamlessly like the wild area. Players will be able to challenge the facilities together. As far as I've been told, this will have more facilities in the battle frontier. So I'm guessing what they would do is just keep adding all the Pokemon that, not, that aren't in the game into Sword and Shield, which would be cool. And I could definitely see that happening. Um, but I don't know. Personally, what I think is going to happen is we're just going to get two DLCs this year, and then we're just going to get Diamond and Pearl remakes next year. And I think that's going to be that. But who knows? Like, there, there could definitely be room for an, an extra DLC or something. And it says, there will be a special competition similar to the P to, uh, P to, P. WT got there in the end that happens in Galar where returning characters from previous games compete My source said there is a hint on the sponsors of the playable character in the direct which I finally spotted and when he said to me look for the Pokemon League HQ um, the Mascot logo is different uh, He's not gonna tell us okay great all Galar gym leaders including the new characters Clara and Avery will now compete a hundred plus returning Pokemon customizable clothes from previous characters of the games um, so yeah, this this rumor basically just goes into detail about um, the Isle of Arm and the Crown Tundra and then it goes into two extra DLC packs. Um, the DLC packs seem not super unlikely, but the fact that the part four is coming out mid 2021, um, I don't know because mid 2021 is going to be what, like June or July-ish, um, but that would mean that Diamond and Pearl remakes were probably coming out in November. So that doesn't give us long. I don't know. I feel like the, the, I can't really see them releasing so much stuff in one year just because when Pokemon like announces something, they kind of like to put all of their effort into that. So if Diamond and Pearl remakes got, you know, announced, I, I, I think that they'd want to put all the effort into that. But then again, we do already know a lot about Diamond and Pearl already. It's just a remake. So it's not going to take like loads and loads of trailers because it's not going to be loads of stuff new. Like take a look at Auras. The, obviously, a couple of the locations changed and we got a few new Mega Evolutions, but there wasn't really a lot to show us in trailers because we already knew most about it. You know, the, the main thing about remakes is we're looking forward to, like, the graphics and stuff and, like, if there's any new Pokemon or forms or anything like that, um, which uh, you can't really, you know, like, put into loads of different trailers. So maybe they will. Who knows? I mean, I'm not completely ruling this rumor out. Um, the guy doesn't really say anything that makes me feel like, oh, no, that's 100% fake. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to it to see if this is true we'll have to wait he doesn't really give us any indication of when we're going to be like hearing about these dlc parts um they just says like we're going to be releasing early 2021 so 
I'm guessing we would get an announcement maybe in like another trailer um, or something. We'll probably get a trailer like maybe March time or something about the crown, about the Isle of Armor. Um, just to kind of like try and get people to buy that. But all in all, pretty cool rumor. Again, no idea if it's true. Take a grain, a grain of salt. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. Anyway, if you guys uh, enjoyed the video, drop a like down below. It really does help out. Uh, make sure to leave a comment. What did you guys think of this rumor? Would you like some more expansion packs? Or would you kind of like Sword and Shield just be like over? And then Diamond and Pearl Remix next. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. And subscribe if you're brand new. We do daily Pokemon content on this here channel. Uh, Seven from me though. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your Monday. And I shall see you all later in the stream. So until then, peace.